start with Chris Hahn, host of the Aggressive Progressive podcast, who has promised to keep his answers pithy and brief, former Senate aide to Chuck Schumer, and Jonathan Cott, former advisor to West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. I am going to start with you, Jonathan, because your boss pointed out over and over again the only group giving a lifeline to Joe Biden is the far left, the progressive left, and in particular, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez of New York, who went on Instagram Live last night during the last night of the RNC. We'll play that clip. If you think that there is consensus among the people who want Joe Biden to leave, that Kamala, that they will support Kamala, Vice President Harris, you would be mistaken. A lot of them are not just interested in removing the president. They are interested in removing the whole ticket. All right, Jonathan, why is the left saving Joe Biden number one? And is she wrong? I have no idea what she was trying to say there, but I also often don't know what AOC is trying to say. Um, I, I think Joe Biden, if he wants to win the election, needs to go back to the old Joe Biden and appeal to the center. Let's not forget, when he ran in the primary in 2020, he was the centrist candidate. He beat Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, the progressive left because that's where the party is, and that's where the country actually is, and that's how he won in 2020. So I think he needs to get back to that. And yes, I, I'd love for the party to be united and the left and the center and the center right to all be together behind Joe Biden, but he's got to get out there and start making the case about why his policies are better for the country and why the contrast between, yeah, he, he's an older Joe Biden, he's forget, forgetful on some things, but he's not talking about shark attacks and Hannibal Lecter and the crazy meandering, you know, yeah. hour and a half speech that Donald Trump we gave that broke his own, his own record yeah. from two, yeah. four years ago is the longest speech ever. So if he can get back out and do those things. And by the way, I think your three points of what he should do are excellent. I hope the campaign is watching and takes those up. Um, but that's what he needs to do. But he needs well, to there's unite a question the whether he, There's a question whether he can or cannot do those, sure. right? Um, you know, he went out on the trail uh, during the RNC, which is an unusual move. He had to come home because um, he got sick and he said, <laughs> among other things, uh, that his uh, Secretary of Defense was, quote, that black man because he couldn't remember um, his name. Uh, Han, this is from Ilhan Omar, another one of, I know, your favorites. I can't tell you how shameful it feels to hear all the leaks about what Democratic leaders are saying and out of a single one of them out here confirming or denying it. It's a lack of leadership. It's making all Democrats look bad. Whatever this mess leads to will not undo the damage that's already been inflicted. May God help us all. Chuck Schumer has a title. It is called the Senate Majority Leader. Why is he not leading? Oh, I don't think having the leaders out front right now pushing the president is going to help. I think that they've got to do that behind the scenes and usher him to the door. And I think that day is coming. Huh, and what huh, I if heard leaders are not out front, AOC where are they? Was, They're supposed to be in... I don't understand. If leaders aren't no, no. supposed to be out front you, leading, what's is, the point of being a leader? Only, there is only one... There's only one person who can make this decision, and that's Joe Biden. And he has to be persuaded to do it. He can't just be browbeated. Right. So you're getting some drips of people coming out every couple of hours saying they're they want him to go. Very big names the last couple of days. Uh, that is leading up to a bigger push from people like Chuck Schumer and Jeffries and Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi and other stalwarts in the party who Joe Biden will listen to. And I do believe Joe Biden will not be on the ticket. And what I heard from AOC was. We'd be okay if Joe Biden wasn't on the ticket if you pick Kamala Harris, which is opening the door to Joe Biden not being on the ticket. The, the, at the end of the day, Joe Biden, no leader gets to pick who gets to be the next nominee of the Democratic Party. The convention delegates will have to do that. And I don't see a lot of people stepping up to challenge Kamala Harris at this point. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. 
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.